Do you want more money? And especially from your business, do you want your business to grow and be able to create more cash than you ever thought possible? How do you do that? What are the ways that we can do that? Some are obvious, some aren't. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you three simple ways to be able to grow your business and make cash. And so my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and I'm excited for today's video because actually I'm going through a four day MBA class with Keith Cunningham and I am learning a ton about business and how to read financials and balance sheets and, and all income statements and all cash flow, all those great things that come with it. And I was just thinking like, okay, what's something simple that I can share with my audience so that they can be able to make more money in their business, right? Because the point of being in business is around, you know, making more money, right? You don't start a business usually so that you just have more freedom because honestly, you don't usually have freedom in the beginning of starting a business, right? So it takes structure in order to have that freedom. And most of us leave structure, <laughs> like a W-2, <clears throat> to go create our own business so we can have freedom, but the only way to have freedom is to have structure, and yeah, we'll get into that at another time. But anyway, I wanna jump in. You know, the first way to increase your income in your business is really simple. You can increase your revenue, but keep expenses low, right? So yeah, we wanna make more money. And so there's certain ways that we can do that. There's certain level, level levels, levers, levers, that's the word I'm looking for, levers that we can pull. For example, if you wanna increase your revenue, you're like, but Joe, I gotta put all this money into marketing and Facebook ads are going up. Well, here's one simple strategy. All you have to do is increase your price. That's simple. You could increase it from you know, 0.001% to 100% or more. <clears throat> Typically, you can keep it simple and you can go ahead and do it maybe like a 5% jump, all right? Maybe a 10% depending on how well you are selling your product. All right, the second way is to keep your, your income the same. So maybe you, have, you made 100 grand last year and we wanna make 100 grand again this year, but we lower our expenses. And you might be sitting there thinking, okay, how do I lower my expenses, right? I don't want to cut someone on my team off, right? They're, they're, I'm leveraging them. That's how I'm able to make 100 grand. I'll make less money. And so what I always typically like to look at, and depending on your business, most of the entre high-performing entrepreneurs I, I coach and whatnot, they're in the service business. They do have products like virtual products and all. However, Instead of, one way you can do this, a quick, simple example, is instead of you know maybe paying so much for Facebook ads, now that you've built up a client base, you could start a referral program. A referral program costs nothing, right? And so you may be able to send out an email, you may be able to reach out, have phone calls to your clients or your prior clients and ask them for three referrals, five referrals, 10 referrals, because as you do that, it's not costing you money, it's just costing you time. And if you do something as simple as an you know, email campaign or something like that, where you're providing value in, re in return, you're getting a referral, right? Maybe it's the enter a, dr uh, a drawing for you know, a $250 Amazon gift card. You can come up with some really great ideas and you can increase revenue, right? Like that could increase revenue. But at the same time, if you wanted to keep revenue the same, but cut your expenses, maybe you're cutting off Facebook ads 50%, but you're replacing the clients that you would get from the other 50% through referrals. And so that's a simple strategy for you, for you to be able to uh, keep your income the same and reduce expenses. So that's the second way to grow your business. The third way is obvious, right? <clears throat> we talked about both, so let's add them together. It's to increase revenue and decrease expenses. So again, those strategies could be really effective, but it might be getting you know, doing this strategy when we talked about reducing expenses, that referral program, and maybe you partner and you do a JV with someone and you say, hey, anyone that you refer, you get 50% of the revenue. And all of a sudden, now you have 10 people going out there blasting their email list, saying, hey, there's this great product that you have. Go ahead and buy it, I love it, you'll love it. 
and all of a sudden you go up another hundred grand, yeah, you're gonna give 50 grand away to him, but instead of making $100,000 this year, you've now made $150,000 this year, right? And all of a sudden your expenses went down, your revenue went up, and so, as we look at these three simple overviews, right, these three simple strategies for you, where you wanna get creative is you wanna look at and say, okay, where can I or how can I increase my income? And then how can I increase, or excuse me, how can I decrease my expenses? And when you have that, you might wanna go to option three and put them both together right? Put them both together. So your revenue goes up, your expenses go down. And there's so many ways that we could do that. If we can reduce expenses, even 5%, that's a huge jump. That's a big jump, right? And that's an extra five grand. So, um, so anyway, the four, an extra $400 a month, however you want to think about it. So what we want to start to do is get creative. Okay, how can I increase? How can I do that without creating more expenses? If I'm going to generate more revenue, how can I do that without creating more expenses? In fact, how can I decrease my expenses? And when you take time to do that, right? Because <clears throat> I learned from Keith that one of the things that we should spend time doing is having think time, even if it's just an hour a week to really think about some of the things going on in our life or our business in this situation. So do you spend an hour where it's just no technology, you know, pen, paper, and you're just writing that question down, how to increase income and reduce expenses. And you just spend an hour thinking about it. You would be shocked what comes to mind. But we get so caught up in our day to day and our business and you know trying to do this and that, we just we kind of lose focus and we don't get that time to really think things through because we're just surface level. We never get to go really deep when the answers are deep. The answers are on the bottom of the pond. And I always like to say that if you're splashing around in the pond trying to make things happen, get customers, all this, clients, revenue, you're making the water murky, murky and so you can't see the bottom where all the answers are right? And so we want to make sure that we could slow down, give ourselves time to go deep, to meditate, to think about this question and give think time. So a um, little quick extra credit. I took it away from Keith and I want to share it with you guys. Um, and when it's in your business, there's only re two reasons to spend money in your business. And I thought about it and I was like, man, this is so true and so powerful. The only two times that you want to spend money is number one, to get a new customer. And how you go about doing that is entirely up to you. There's infinite strategies on how to do that. But to get new customers or clients, that's the first way. The second way is to keep a customer, right? Because or a client, right? Because it costs money to get that client. So if you're gonna spend some money to keep that client, it's impressive, right? So for example, with my business, with coaching, I have clients pay a certain amount of money and then when they continue their coaching with me or a client or a coach of ours, we give them a discount. So that's me spending money that I would have acquired, right? If I was trying to get a new client, I would have spent that money to get that. So I give them a discount to continue to keep being a client moving forward. And so those are the only two reasons we wanna spend money as a business owner, right? If you think about it from a big strategic standpoint. So be careful, where are you spending money, right? What is it, because if you're hiring someone to, if I hire someone to do my YouTube videos, I need to get a return in order, a return on my asset, my, my leverage, my person, so that I can make money. If I'm not making money off of them, I'm, that's just an expense, and now my expenses are going up, income staying the same. And that's not a good recipe for more money in business, right? Because the goal is for you to make more money, right? Make more money, and at the end of the day, how much cash at the end of the year, how much cash do you have so that you can go and enjoy your life the way you want to, right? The goal of starting a business is to have cash at the end of the day, not profit. So with that, I hope this helps you guys because this is just simple strategies, but can really, when you take think time, can really accelerate your business and your growth. 
And that's how your name year after year gets out there. That's how your business grows year after year. But you gotta slow down, think about it, strategically plan and implement these strategies. So with that, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and also the notification button so that you can be notified every time a video comes out here at Master Life by Design. And if you're one of those people that needs help with some of this, like I did, right? You're like, man, Joe, I wanna, I wanna get to that next level in my life or in my business. I just don't know how. I'd love to work with you or maybe one of your team members just go in the description below fill out the coaching applications and someone will give you a call and we'll be able to help you go past that next level for you past that finish line that you're looking for so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day have a great time growing your business making more money and making more of an impact and i'm looking forward to hearing from you so comment below my name is joe moffitt with master life by design have a great one see you guys